want you to hit me as hard as you can. X-Men Days of Future Past. The future. A dark, desolate world. A world of war. Okay, I uh, guess I'll try to stay away from the future. Sentinels have been dispatched to wipe mutants out. They were designed by this guy back in the 70s. In the past, Mystique killed the scientist who first thought of the Sentinels, but they captured her and used her DNA to make the Sentinels unstoppable. It all started that day in 1973. The day she first killed. The day she truly became Mystique. There she is, Mystique. Professor Xavier wants to go back in time and stop Mystique from killing the scientists. But there's one problem. It would rip you apart. I'm sorry. No one could survive that trip. This is huge. How will they overcome it? What if someone can heal as fast as they're ripped apart? Oh well, that was easy. So they send Wolverine back. He finds the professor and tells him he needs his help. But he's depressed because he lost Raven. You can tell because he's looking at her picture longingly, even though it's not even pointed at him. He decides to help, but they have to get Eric out, who is locked underneath the Pentagon. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this kid's pants. Then again, I can't really complain. Eric is locked away past this hall of cops who just stare at each other all day. I'm guessing this is awkward after, oh, three seconds. Peter the Flash guy gets Eric out, and they go to find Raven in Paris, just in case you have no idea where the Eiffel Tower is located. There is a summit to end the Vietnam War, and this is where Raven tries to kill Task, but Charles and Eric stop her. But then Eric thinks he has to kill Raven to make sure the humans never get her DNA. She escapes, but not before the whole world learns about mutants. They also collect a perfect sample of her blood, even though there was an entire stampede and no one stepped on it. With Raven's DNA, Task can finally build his sentinels, saving the human race, setting up the best inspirational species speech ever. Never before in all of human history has there been a cause which could unite us as a species. Until now. This dude was five feet away from the greatest speech and never even knew it. Meanwhile, Charles is having trouble believing in his powers, so Wolverine tells him to look into his mind. By the way, you, you might see a couple things in there with me and Gene. Uh, just fast forward past those parts. In Wolverine's mind, Charles meets himself in the future. Ah, oh, crap. I'm still crippled. And I'm completely bald? Fuck. So Charles believes in himself again, and they go after Raven in Washington, D.C., just in case you don't know where the Pentagon is. Eric is already there and walks into the Pentagon, because I guess it just takes a hat to do that, and he steals back his helmet. On the way to DC, Wolverine wants Charles to promise to find all the X-Men and help unite them, no matter what happens. There's so many of us. Storm, Scott, Jean. Remember those names. I can only remember three of the names, uh, but trust me, there are so many more. Just don't ask me who they are. The president is going to make a national address outside the White House. My fellow Americans. Today, we face the greatest threat in our history. It's guys wearing neck scarves. Back at present time, Sentinels have found the X-Men. Here they come. No sh**. You think I just came out here for fresh air? Simultaneously, in the past, Sentinels also attack. What the hell are you doing? I didn't tell you to activate them. I didn't. Uh, how can I activate the machines? I can't even fully salute. Turns out Eric put metal in the Sentinels so he can control them. They open fire, but luckily have horrible aim, so all the humans make it out. In the present, the X-Men start dying. In the past, the president made it to his bunker, but Eric pulls it out of the ground. He's gonna shoot the president and all his men in front of the whole world. But Raven stops him. However, she still wants to kill Task. But Charles talks her out of... Uh, 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 Charles, did he... Uh, oh, oh, boobies. Raven doesn't kill him and saves her species, both past and present, letting humans and mutants coexist in a world where everything is perfect. Ah, oh, 